my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Man Cave. I've got a little video for you that uh, could be beneficial for you down the road. I was approached by my friends at Toptes, T-O-P-T-E-S, and they asked me would I like to have a refrigerant leak detector. You know, I would say that's an unusual request for most people, <laughs> but would you not know that as they called, I was actually working on a dehumidifier in my shop, and they said they would send it to me, and I could use it then to find the leak in that dehumidifier. Well, just so happened, I figured out the problem with the dehumidifier. I fixed it, didn't have any further issues with it, and by the time this arrived, I didn't really have a need for it. <laughs> But here it is. Let me show it to you. Um, it is a pretty cool outfit. I've received quite a few different products from Toptus, and they are all very high-quality products. I really have been impressed, and I, I'm not just saying that. This one is an RT-389. And when you uh, power it on, let me see here. It goes through a, a setup process that you might be able to see on the screen there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway, once it goes through its setup process, it's ready to use. You just poke it into the uh, area, like the A-coil or something, wherever you suspect there might be a leak, and you go around all the you know fittings and all that sort of thing, and it will tell you where the leak is. And it beeps and it uh, you know shows something on the screen and you can feel it vibrate. So it gives you a lot of feedback. To give you the complete story, what happened was that I charged it up right when I got it, but then I couldn't think of anything to use it on there for a while. I had an old uh, air window air conditioner, and I thought, well, I'll get that out and see if we can uh, find the leak in it, because I knew it had quit working. But before that could happen, the real-life air conditioner on the main house went uh, out, and so the AC repairman came. He was using like a soap bubble substance. It's a special, you know, kind of soap that they would spray on the different fittings, and he could not find a leak. He had pressure tested the lines, and they were fine. But obviously, it was leaking because it was low on refrigerant. And anyway, the bottom line is, he said, I guess I'll have to go back to the shop and get an uh, electronic leak detector. And I said, I think I have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, really? And I said, yeah. I said, uh, Toptis, my friends at Toptis just sent me one. Let me go get it. So I went down and got it, gave it to him. And here's what happened. My friends, we've got a, a leak detector, uh, electronic leak detector um, for uh, refrigerant. Uh, it was sent to me by Toptis. They uh, asked me to uh, make a video of using this thing. Well, it just so happened my outdoor air conditioning unit is not working properly. I've got a uh, air conditioner technician here today, and uh, he didn't happen to have one of these on his truck, and he needed one. So I said, well, let's just kill two birds with one stone, and let's use this thing and see if we can find this leak. Okay, so we're fixing to see if we can figure this thing out. I think we hit something. It's probably just water, I guess. Uh, no, that's my bubbles from earlier. Oh. Spraying soap bubbles in there. Wonder about it around the compressor or anything. Looks like that line got crimped. Yeah, I saw that earlier. You don't look good. It's not great. Did you have a compressor replaced at some point? No. Hmm. No, this is 
new from you guys or installed it, you know. Yeah. That is strange to have it. Mm hmm. Tons of money. <laughs> okay, we think we found the error or the problem. It seems to be down about two thirds of the way down, and it's gone off several different times. The very first time we put it down there, it went off, and it seems to be just a little bit lower than right about in there somewhere is where it did it. Well, I'll be darned. Now it's not going off again. There it is. So we really think we got a problem right in that general area. Well, my friends, you can see how it happened, and it is a true story. Brandon, the AC technician, was very impressed with this. He said that it seems like a really good unit. He really liked it. So there you go. You don't have to just take my word for it, but Brandon said it was good as well. So I just wanted to show that to you and thought maybe it might help you down the road. Um, I can attest to the fact that it definitely does work and it stays charged a long time because I charged it up right when I got it and it was still perfectly charged up when uh, Brandon needed to use it. So thank you so much Toptis for sending me this uh, leak detector. It will get put to good use from time to time and I'm sure it'll appear in a future video down the road as I'm bench testing something. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you would, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.